here, Khalid Taha, 29 years of age, Sergei Morozov out of Kazakhstan. For a Germany's Khalid Taha. Here now, Bruce Buffer. Great division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Five feet, six inches tall. Weighing in at 135 pounds, Morozov. And now record, 13 wins, two losses. He stands five feet. Dortmund, North Rhine, Westphalia, Germany. The action begins. Our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Rear that the initial fight contract and opponent that he signed up who is in blue, Khalid Taha is in black. Taha the favorite. Because the boxing's there, we know that. He's got vicious hands. But Morozov... You already see Taha comes out right hand. Just wanted to make a fool out of me. <laughs> it's going to be a full-on boxing <laughs> yeah, fight now. Yeah, yeah. But prevailing wisdom certainly is that his path of least resistance. Oh, too early. You want to sure. lull your opponent into a false sense of security. Then Especially you take with the somebody leg. like Taha, who throws so much power in every she. It's easier to get your opponent down if they're coming forward with big power. And Hagen welcoming back the former divisional champion T.J. Dillashaw. Mm. Pressure, pretty good shot by Sergey there up against the fence. Oh. Yeah, he's in deep on that. Very good at finishing. Beautiful. He lets it go now, but look at the shoulder pressure that he applies too. He's going to wants to sit here, pressure that neck, almost apply enough pressure to truly really have the full right. arm triangle. But their pressure is just so significant that they. Which is probably a lot of people, let's be honest. This is where you want your opponent. He's on his side, now he's doing something. Now he's working towards a sweep, a submission, whatever. What are you trying to do here, Paulie, if you're uh, Khalid Taha? Well, you see, he's trying, he's got to do something with that left leg right now as a shin shield, right? He's framing, but you see me past his hip so that it's no longer defending him from moving forward. Went to the underhook, which is where he's got to go. He's going to try and drive up and force Morozov knows. As you come up like that, the idea is you drive forward. You put your... Morozov fought his now on the UFC. Strong strength of schedule for Morozov pre-UFC. So, yeah, oh, some big shots there. Turned away and covered up. And the, and, and the angle for the... One more, one more. Beautiful. Okay, look. Okay, on the ground. That was good. But if you put the touch. Getting back up, okay? By moving him left to right, push his head away. At a distance, stay on the outside of this foot. You understand? Okay, it's all about moving. Let's go, Coach. Tune in to UFC Fight Pass tomorrow for a stage, and then it's LFA 112, streaming live from Brazil to close out. Look at that. I mean, they're deadly punches. A nice word throwing the uppercut, certainly against somebody that wants to. So the There's a front kick a too, Mike, great... just to keep him on his toes. Yeah, and real easy. If you throw a knee and you doesn't find the mark, it doesn't like the uppercut. Ask Francisco Figueredo. <laughs> See that wide-eyed knuckle, a big shot, Ooh. and now he cracks Morozov back and forth we go. Stick there by Sergey with the jab. Coming up on three and a half to go here. See more of that. As we know, the calf kick's a great weapon. There's great. one. Taha faints. Morozov bit on it. Dazed earlier, but looks very recovered now. Moving well, throwing big punches. Just right. There we go. UFC Fight Night returns to the Apex next Saturday. Sandhagen versus S will be steps away from all the octagon action. Enjoy all-inclusive hospitality. Limited opportunity. You see Taha Hadi. If he was to give up the takedown here in round two, third, so defending this takedown right now is pivotal. A bit there from Morozov. But he pops up straight away. It was a nice trip. Morozov, either way, because he's wearing on Taha. And when he gets separation, if he gets separation, there's just much. We talk about it over and over again, Michael. Hurt. But if you've been in there and been hit by them. At like 20%, just to be nice. Just, just a taste. Morozov now a 7-1 to one favorite on the... Obviously, Taha's going to break this position. There we go. Pushing on the head. That's going to force Taha to try to fight back up again. Off the ability to try to sink that choke. 
See the way Taha was trying to pull that, that shimmy, get him off his back, position. but the control now softened him up with some punches there. Yeah, trying to strip, but not his round for sure. Okay, we need you to see it. Otherwise, you're not gonna have you it. Have Just to try to hurt it. You okay. Have to stop him. Okay. Okay. So try to be aggressive on this one. Okay. Last one. Okay. Yeah. You strike your move. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Good job, coach. Thank you. Yeah, okay. let's go, let's go. Well, tickets are on sale now for the UFC's return to Houston for UFC. Cecil gone. Plus, Amanda Nunes is back against oh. Pena. My apologies, John. Getting a little excited there while you're doing your promo. Taha, they're saying you need a knockout. And Taha acknowledged it. So Karsten Ringler and Javier Mendez not mincing their words. They believe they're at right. They're not belittling their fighter. They're just letting him know the truth of what's going on. Fighters that get advice from their coaches who are a bit delusional sometimes. To round three, if you're down two rounds, you need to know that you need to be informed of the fact. Judge it as well as what your corner man can. Maybe you even think you're yeah. ahead. Maybe Work here again. Beautiful mat return from Morozov. He has, but just the difference in grappling is clear here. Simok drops him. Taha lands on all fours, but he immediately. Oh. But still not out of the danger zone. Morozov under three minutes now to go. Right after tonight's main event, don't miss a recap of all the act down and bring you exclusive interviews with tonight's winners. It is only. Sergey Moroza put it all together. Big shots from Taha, and certainly his grappling advantage. Every time these guys exchange on their feet, we're seeing that left hook in particular. Yeah, I don't want to get ahead of myself. Obviously, the fight is still. You know, he, he throws punches with accuracy. He doesn't just swing them. One. Performance exceedingly well coached, as we mentioned, well tested. Prior is all the rage, of course, as well. But what a great sophomore effort! Tough opponent in Nurmagomedov, and then he gets this second chance coming in the end thus far. And like Michael said, the fight is not over. Taha still has a minute to try to mentally draining and disheartening yeah. this style of fight when an opponent and again. You're like, come on, but can we Taha. just throw down in the center of the up? Getting back up to his feet, still marching forward, yeah. throwing flying knees at Moreau. He's emptying the tank. He's throwing flying knees. And he's got plenty of. He did that leg of Morozov. I know he hasn't shown. Nice check hook there from yep. Morozov. That's one of his. Well, make sure you can stay. DC and RC with Daniel Cormier and Ryan Clark. Both shows can be streamed on podcasts. All right, we think we know who won. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All Jen Sergey Morosa.